Hi guys, it's Victoria and welcome to today's video. So I'm sure as you've already seen by the title, um, this video is about how to deal with high school girls and I'm making this video just to help other girls who have like, you know, who are going through this like issue where they've got high school girls being mean to them and or boys, whoever, but you know, it's just a situation sometimes. So I just thought that I could maybe give some advice because I have been through this situation so many times. Also, please excuse my voice. Yesterday we had a band competition, I was screaming all day. Um, also, in like two hours, I am going to a vocal festival, like a choir thing, and I sing high, so I <laughs> don't know how well I'm going to be able to sing, but we're going to try our best. So I am a junior in high school, if you did not know that. So I've been in high school for a little while, and I've been with my class for a very long time, because we have, our class is 20 people, so we're all together all the time, pretty much. Um, and you know, you're going to be with these people and they're going to know too much about you and all this. And So, basically, I thought I'd just start off talking about my experience with, you know, girls not liking me and all this kind of stuff. Um, you're going to have the girls that don't like you. Um, they're going to say bad stuff about you. And this has happened literally since like first grade i have gotten into so many like fights verbally with other girls and i know that sounds really bad and like i hate arguing with people but i don't like to let people i okay i am the person that lets people walk all over me but at some points, I'm going to stick up for myself and say something back. And I know, like, a fight over Snapchat is stupid, you know? But I was also a lot younger. Um, but literally since, like, first grade, I would have to go to the office because girls would tell on me for me being mean to them. But they were actually the people that were being mean to me. Um... I have been told that I need to be put in a mental hospital by somebody's mom. Um, so, that one's fun. Um, I've been called like a worthless bitch, um, you know, all this stuff. Some like bad stuff I'd rather not say if there's younger people watching. Um, but, you know, it happens, um, but it's fine. Um, last year I got into an argument with a girl in my class, um, over Snapchat because I got bangs, um, and... I don't know, she's making fun of me a lot, and, um, she was, I, like, said something about, like, a debate we had in the class, and she took it, like, offensively, but it, there was nothing against her that I said, um, and so then she was talking during lunch to a girl and I was literally right there when she was walking by saying something so I texted her and I was like because she was already like gone by the time I could say anything and so I texted her and I was like hey you know you might not want to talk about me like when I'm right here you know um because at that point I was just fed up with it you know I was like literally just stop and you know she just kept saying she's gonna fight me and all this and I literally straight up said to her I was like you can fight me all you want, but I'm not going to fight you back. Because I'm not the type of person to do that. I don't want to, like, hit people. I don't want to fight. So I was like, you know what? If you want to fight me, go ahead. Like, do it. That's what you want. But I'm not going to fight you back. 
so um but she's saying a lot of this rude stuff to me um she actually this part was really funny to me so she said something about me needing to stop being mean to people and stuff which i don't think i'm a very mean person um but she said something about me needing to um stop being mean to people and then right after that she called me um a stupid worthless bitch or something like that oh and ugly too was in there somewhere that was that was really good um but that really made me laugh because at this point i'm just like so over like this stuff you know and i was like you literally just told me to stop saying stuff about people but you just said that <laughs> but it's fine you know um but then I don't even know. Then she was like, just saying stuff about like, oh, like poor Luke, which Luke is my boyfriend if you didn't know. And she was like, he must feel so trapped. And I was like, oh, sweet. Um, but we're not going to get too much into that. Um, but then this year, some girls have recently been saying stuff. And it always has to do with me and Luke, honestly, because... I'll give you the real tea. These girls don't have boyfriends and have trouble getting it. And I'm not saying that to be mean. I'm just literally stating facts. Um, and so they always come at me and my relationship and try to break us up. But it's not going to happen. So, I mean, they can try all they want. But, like, they're not going to get anywhere. Um, but, yeah, they always say stuff about us. And so, you know, I mean... Recently, they've just been talking about me a whole lot and, like, saying all this stuff about me and, um, you know, whatever. They've called me fake and all this stuff, but that's fine. I mean, it's okay. Like, I'm really not hurt by it. Like, I don't care. Um, it's not, like, I've had a rough week because it's like really been going on this week but um it's not what they say about me that like bugs me it's like that they constantly are talking about me and that like my name's always the one in their mouths like it's it just sucks um i just realized i don't have my rings on and i feel uncomfortable oh shoot i also don't have my necklace Okay, we're back. Also, if you hear any noises in the background, it's my guinea pig. He's talking. Um, but as I was saying, it's just like that they're always talking about me that like drives me insane. Um, but yeah, we're gonna stop talking about my experience and I'm gonna give you just some like advice that I've picked up over the years. Also, if you want and, like, if you have any more questions, you can always DM me on Instagram. I'm always open. Um, so, yeah, my Instagram is Victoria Lynn with three N's underscore. Um, so, yeah. Um, also, it's always down below, too, if you don't remember what it is. So, you can always check that out. But, yeah, so, um, basically, my biggest tip is... Do not let them get to you. Don't let them bring you down because that is what they want. They want you to be sad and they want to bring you down. And I know it is so hard to like stand strong and pretend like it doesn't bother you at all. But you cannot show that it hurts you because that is what they want. They are trying to make you sad. Like that is the point of the stuff they're saying to you and about you. So you just have to be strong and i know that sometimes it is so 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 hard but it will only be worse if you let them know that you're hurting so and also another thing that i've learned when they're like saying stuff to you um don't fight back just i mean okay in some instances you can but it's easier to get them to stop um when you're like just kind of like agreeing with them even if you don't mean it 
but like there's this video that I saw I don't even remember what it was but this guy was showing like he had he did a demonstration with this girl and like he picked somebody out of the audience and so she had her he had her yell at him and like insult him and he argued back and so she just kept going but then they did it again and he would like like she'd call him stupid and he'd be like yeah you're right I am kind of dumb sometimes and then he would like compliment her and it like you know it only took a little while for her to stop so that's one of the biggest things I've learned is just you obviously stand up for yourself you can fight back but when you insult back it just kind of makes the fire bigger so I mean that's just one of the big things I've learned and yeah um, also they're most likely jealous of you a lot of times when these girls talk about you they are jealous that is just how it is I know it sucks um, I don't I don't really know why that happens but yeah um, also if they are friends that are on and off like my situation is don't keep going back because I have learned like just now not to keep going back because I would like not be friends with them for a while and then I'd be friends with them again and then it just happens over and over and over again and just don't keep going back because if you keep going back it's only going to make it harder on you in the end um and I understand like if you want to be a good person you want to like try to be their friend I get that and that's what I've tried to do tried to do for years um but it's still happening and that's just my advice obviously you don't have to follow it but I have learned that myself um and lastly surround yourself with good people and like people you want to be around so I have recently made some very good friends um people who are genuine people and who appreciate me and I appreciate and just um you know won't say this bad stuff about me so um I have Kirsten of course you've seen her in some of my vlogs um she has been my best friend since I've literally been alive um I'm pretty sure she was there when I was born I think she I know she's at my baptism um so I mean we've been together for a long time she's been my best friend for forever um Alexis, I talked about her in a vlog that's going up soon. Um, it might already be up by the time this is posted. But she has been my friend since pre-K. And actually a fun story, no, before pre-K. But actually a fun story about how we met was these girls were being mean to me. So I walked up to her and asked her if she wanted to play. Because we were at daycare. And... She said yes, and we've been friends ever since, and she is one of the nicest, most genuine people I've ever met in my entire life, and I don't know what I would do without her, and I know she's watching this right now, so Alexis, if you're watching this, I love you. Um, but I've also become friends with um, another Alexis. She's um, the other drum major, and I've like talked to her a lot recently, and she's a good... Person. I'm not going to list everybody, but I have made some genuine friends and people who, you know, want to be around me, don't want to talk about me, that kind of good stuff. And, yeah, I really just appreciate those people. So if any of you are watching this, um, thank you for being in my life and taking care of me. And, oh, and obviously Luke, but I figured, I don't think he's watching this, but, um... I figured you guys would figure that out. Um, but I just appreciate all these people in my life who have made me realize my worth. And um, yeah, so just surround yourself with good people, people you want to be around, people who support you, and you should get along just fine. So, yeah. Okay, so that is it for today's video. I hope you guys enjoyed and if you did be sure to give it a thumbs up and subscribe down below because I post videos 
every Sunday and occasionally a Wednesday video if I have extra videos or I have time. So, um, yeah. Also, all my social medias are down below and so is my vlog channel if you want to go check that out because I post, I used to post daily so there's a whole bunch of daily vlogs up there, but now I only post like every once in a while because obviously I'm in school and I can't vlog every day. Um, but yeah, thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed. Peace.